As we've been telling you, this year's theme is knowledge is power. A new center recently opened, making sure that future generations know Cleveland's role in the fight for freedom. The center even teaches how the impacts of slavery are still seen in today's social issues. Organizers say Dr. King would be proud. Here's Sia New Yorker. Nestled here off Mayfield Road between East 115th Street and Circle Drive is the oldest and only surviving pre-Civil War structure in University Circle, the Kozad Bates House Interpretive Center, highlighting Northeast Ohio's history as a center of anti-slavery activism. If we don't study the lessons of history, we'll be doomed to repeat it. And I think that is one of the primary functions of the Kozad Bates House Interpretive Center. It sets an important context for anti-slavery activism that occurred before the Civil War even started, um, what happened during the Civil War, and the struggles that still continue to this day. So this is what we're about. We're about educating people about what happened coming up to this point and how those, those struggles still exist in, in modern Modern times. Inside the home, photographs, newspaper articles, maps, signs, and other memorabilia documenting the history. Outside the home, constellations embedded in the sidewalk of the Big Dipper and Little Dipper, the North Star guiding the way to freedom. It is named for 93-year-old Joan Southgate, retired social worker and activist who founded Restore Cleveland Hope and advocated for the house. In 2019, we sat down with the grandmother and spoke of her 519 mile walk across Ohio, recreating the Underground Railroad journey years before. I found that once I began, the walking was easy. <laughs> easy for a little old 73 year old. <laughs> it was easy. So what was that? Spirit. 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 And in that spirit, resonating here at Kozad Bates House, where knowledge is power. I think Dr. King's fundamental message was about love and acceptance of your fellow human beings. And I think that in um, a place like the Kozad Bates House Interpretive Center, you can come and you can learn what happens, the very real consequences of what happens when you don't see people as people. We need to connect with one another. We need to get past this and just love each other and be a better society. Shining a beacon of light and keeping Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream alive. I would like to believe he'd be proud of the work that we're doing here to again educate the community, to provide a, a gathering space where people can come and learn about subject matter that may not necessarily be comfortable to discuss, but it's so necessary if we're ever going to move forward. Left foot, pick foot, travel.